left in that bag with my first guy. <gasps> oh my god. embarrassing so I've been recording for the past five minutes the other way <laughs> so, and I went to go like check that the video was like in focus and stuff I looked at the camera and all that you saw was this okay, so yeah just finished cleaning because that's my other job that I have um, and so it's kind of woke me up a little bit got my steps in because there is a lot of building to cover and then now I'm gonna head home make myself a tea do my morning routine tidy up the rooms have a nice shower and get myself looking like kind of cutesy but like obviously I'm going to a spa so I don't need to go crazy but I do want to feel a little bit more presentable because I really am not at the moment just purely just because I've just been constantly working so I'm so excited I've never been to a spa before my boyfriend Jack got it me for my birthday present because he knows I've never been to a spa and he just feels like I deserve the relaxation and I am so excited to just relax nine till six it's a whole work day of just like doing nothing and relaxing so I am so excited but this will be like amazing like I'm so excited to just spend some more time with them so yeah I'm gonna go back home now and make myself a warm tea because it is freezing How cute is this so mummy wanted to upcycle and she's made a little wreath herself it says she's just got to add the twinkly lights on it. Okay, so I just listened to a really factful thing by uh, Rob Dial, the Mindset Mentor podcast on Spotify. And you can get it on Apple, I think, as well. And he said that, and it fitted in perfectly to what I was feeling, because obviously I feel very overwhelmed at the moment, but he said, Stop making it about everything else. You're the one making yourself overwhelmed. So instead of saying, you need to change your mindset. So instead of saying like, work is making me overwhelmed or my life is making me overwhelmed or my relationship is making me overwhelmed. Do you have to admit to yourself that it is you that is making yourself overwhelmed? You're the one that gives you your to-do list. You're the one in the relationship. You're the one that goes to work and does them hours. It's your choice. And you're the one that doesn't prioritize the most important things first. You do about 40 things on your to-do list and at the end of the day you don't really feel like you've got anything done because you've done jobs that don't matter so you end up feeling overwhelmed you need to take responsibility for the fact that you're overwhelmed so from now on i am the one that's making myself overwhelmed and i'm the one that's going to change that and i just thought what a great guy i'm, I'm just going to take my holland and barrett skin nails and hair vitamin formula and then my other tablets are upstairs so i'm going to have those as well but and I just use, this has been a lifesaver at the moment because I've been so thirsty that the water's like never warm enough. Never warm enough, never cold enough. So I just have a Chili's bottle with my initials on it. It's cute. My sister got it me for last Christmas. So. Oh no, I've just broke my spoon. Oh, to my little hideout i recently started doing this up just to make it like really cozy um but it's very cold in here so i'm gonna get myself a little battery heater for every time i come in to play music and i like, do my journaling reading and stuff cleanse my face I just need to get my skincare on and do my hair and just put on like a tiny bit of makeup Bumper is literally got the binkies like he is flying around the room Blush and jade roller set and I always love doing this in the morning now like since I got it I'm doing it because this on your face in the morning is so nice because it's cold I'm not gonna go crazy with any makeup I'm literally just gonna put some mascara on sort out my eyebrows and then 
maybe a bit of blush and that's it. I mean, the lighting in here is absolutely awful in this room. It's a tip, but yes, I just got these boots. These were from a car boot sale. These leggings were from Zara. This was from my work. It's really, really cute. Um, and I work at Paul James Knitwear, basically. This one's like really good quality jumper. And the bodysuit is from Pretty Little Thing. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see me here and I literally have no idea how to use this. The room is also a mess, but we're gonna do that this weekend. So yeah, it's the Revlon one-step volumizer, power of a driver, dryer, <laughs> volume of a styler. Just going to probably not film this just because I don't know what I'm doing and I'll film it another time when I actually figure out what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna show you the end result just because no one wants to watch someone struggle to do their hair. Yeah. I'll get back to you when I finish this. Okay, so that literally took me like five minutes. Obviously, it's my first go, but I don't think I've done that bad for my first go. Also, look at the vibes of this room right now. So this is the final outfit. Um, pretty sure this is from Boohoo, and then I've told you the rest of the outfit anyway. But yeah. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two That corner coffee shop we like to go Take my walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs make me glad to call you mine And you have got my head in the clouds oh. All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple love and it's Exchanging <laughs> letters when you're away. What's it about? Really? Yeah. I accidentally just zoomed into your face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was quick. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> All I need is you make me fly to the clouds. <laughs> All that I need is your body next to me on rainy days. Just need your company, don't need too much. Just this week, part of the candy. <laughs> <laughs> garlic, bread, and mozzarella, and, and caramelized onions. <laughs> normal, boring garlic bread, and what's and this cheese? one? Um, pepperoni campagna. On a mushroom. It's on a mistake with eggs. High five. Oh god. I need to go away. Bob the Builder. Bob. Bob.
and I am so tired like I don't know how like a spa can drain you so much but I am honestly so tired we have slept in a lot yeah so now I've just got to get ready and I'm about to go to a charity boxing event in like a couple of hours so that'll be really fun because I've never been to one before which is really exciting with my gold heels but yeah so that's what I'm doing today and then I'll be back quite late so then I will pick up where I left off tomorrow um I've tidied the room and everything I've just got to do a big clean of it tomorrow and yeah so I'll show you my outfit when it's ready and whew, one day spa then the next like a charity boxing event it's like two completely different things so I need to just like get my head in the right headspace but yeah it'll be really fun so. Okay, so you're gonna have to ignore the way I look right now, but you know what? I think it's really cute. It's got like a little polar bear on it. And I've got my pitos on because I'm just about to get ready. I've got three different options for what to wear, but I have no idea which one. Um, but first, ow, per. First, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. I've got this Sassy Saints uh, brow lamination kit. The bunnies have had some of this, which is like great. And I've used it a couple times now. It's really, really cute. It comes with like a newspaper article, but it's got loads of different like facts and like fun and cute things in there. It's very like girly. And it also has the instructions on how to actually do it. And then you also have like a scan, like a code that you can scan to see how to do it online. But how cute is that? But yeah, so this is how my eyebrows are looking right now. Awful. And this girl will be looking very different soon. First I apply the stick it, push my eyebrows up, I'm all clean, so just stick it all over. I haven't had time to dye them, so I'm just going to have to deal with what they look like colour wise because my eyebrows are low-key like really see-through. And brush it upwards. Okay, and then the next one we get is the Shape It one. And we grab a lip gloss wand. So one of these ones. Smother it all over. The next bit we cover. It says cover your brows with plastic film and let the shape it do its thing. And um, this should take around 10 minutes depending on your thickness of your eyebrows. Take some little plastic film. So we get it across the actual brows and pat it down and then I'm going to put a timer on for 10 minutes. Okay so my hair's all brushed, I just need to put some, I need to put this heat protector in my hair, it's the Tresemme one. Put it on there because my hair is just so damaged at the moment and I'm really trying to take care of it but it's a hard life. I want to grow it out so much longer but it's just taking me a while. But yeah. I figured out the dress I'm gonna wear. I think we're gonna wear this one with my gold heels to go with the gold chain. And yeah, it's super cute. Hold on. The lighting's really, really bad in here, but. Okay. So I was figuring out what to wear. So then I, next, let's, you take off the film and then white with a cotton bud. There's a lot of it. Sorry, I'm like really far away, but it's the only place I can put you right now. And you just, you have to have like a tight grip because there's a lot of stuff that comes off. And now you can see that I literally have no eyebrows. Okay, so I'm gonna come a bit closer so you can see. We're basically going with some of my mum's mummies, with my mummy's work colleagues, because um, they go to the same gym as us and the people that are doing the charity boxing event. Uh, then next we put some Fix It on with a lip gloss wand and then take another mascara brush and gently brush through the brows. Apply some Fix It. And next the plastic film over the brows again, wherever that is here. Um, but I'm gonna set another timer for 10 minutes and now I am gonna do my hair. I feel like you couldn't see me that whole time. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting now. Cool. Okay, 
so it's actually really not that great i literally did it in five minutes again because i realized i am actually quite late but you know what i'll just put some hairspray in it and then if it falls it falls um i do just probably need to watch like a few tutorials on how to actually do it properly because i'm not that good at hair we'll just we'll just go with it it's fine it still looks nice so i definitely need to work on this though look how good that is I've got to quickly do my makeup. I've literally just put some foundation on the uh, L'Oreal Paris True Match. Because um, it's just nice, like, light coverage. And I simply just use my hands to put that on just because it's... I don't know, I feel like the coverage is nicer and it's not as thick and heavy. When you use your hands. I'm just going to do my nails in the car, because why not? And... Then some mascara and then I'll just shape my eyebrows again on top because putting my foundation moved them a little bit and then simply just some lip gloss and then pop on my But this makeup literally took me, I'm not even joking, like two minutes because I'm not going over the top. These earrings then. I've got some little pals on them which are cute. Bye bye. <laughs> And his opponent, please welcome Carl Newton! Round one. Okay, so it's the next day and um, it's late. <laughs> it's just been one of them days where honestly, like the room's a little bit messy again, but just. I had a bath in the morning, I slept in a little bit because like, we came back really late last night. I slept in a little bit and then we're just like on and off napping and then we just went to go get some food and then I've just been in bed just sleeping on and off. Just like a typical Sunday, spending a bit of time with these boys. I'm gonna um, tidy and clean, deep clean the room. To be honest, so Sour Patch Kids, you've got Million Jelly Babies, Reese's, huh? Yeah, got one. <laughs> Reese's, um, and then just some drinks because I'm really thirsty. So I got Strawberry and Kiwi, Fanta, you've just got a normal Dr. Pepper, and then I also got Gator Gatorade, um, the Fruit Punch flavour, because I used to really Careful. like these. But yeah, not much, but just something sweet, you know. 